This exact TikTok niche has paid me over $10,000 in the past 30 days through the TikTok creativity program. And I've made even more money, around $6,000, by reposting these same videos on YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, which was basically no extra effort at all. The only thing you really need to put effort in is the video itself. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best process for making these videos. You see, the key here is knowing how to create videos quickly and in large quantities, as this is what brings in the money. The more videos you upload, the more money you'll make. Simple. If you follow this step-by-step -step tutorial until the end, you can really grow your pages quickly. Let's get right into it. So what's this crazy niche I'm talking about? It It's football or soccer, depending on what part of the world you're in. Here are a couple of important things to know. First, timing is key for going viral. For example, if there's an important Champions League match featuring a famous team or player, posting something related to it during the game, like a goal or action, can potentially get you millions of views and lots of engagement. Take this two minute video as an example, it's just a live recording of a football game but it's still got millions of views and likes, these particular videos performed exceptionally well. You don't need advanced editing skills or expertise with computers to do this. You can literally get the same results even with zero followers on social media. I'll show you how you can do it from your phone or laptop with no investment. But first, let's talk about what the creativity program actually is and how TikTok actually pays you. Just like any monetization program, there are requirements. You need to have 10,000 followers and over 100,000 views in the last 30 days. This is probably the only thing that will take you some time to do, and it can take anywhere from three weeks to three months to get these numbers. But if you stick to what I'm showing you and keep at it, then you'll be able to hit the monetization requirements way sooner than you think. Now let's actually talk about the kinds of videos you could make, then I'll show you how to use AI to make the videos more quickly and in large quantities. You can make videos about the best parts of games, like when there's an awesome goal or something really exciting happens. Or you could talk about what happened in a game, like who won and what went down during the match, Another thing you could do is explain how teams play and what kind of plans they have. You could also talk about numbers and stats, like how many passes players make and things like that. If a big player switches teams or signs a new contract, that's also a good thing to talk about. Same goes for when players get hurt and can't play in the next game. You can also give an overview of how a team is doing in a competition and point out any new players who are doing really well. And you can even talk about the decisions referees make during games. This one's quite controversial, and I would actually recommend you pick something slightly controversial so that people comment and share your TikTok to others, which will help boost your videos in general. So to make these videos, you need to stay on top of the latest news and what people are saying, and then turn that into your own videos. Cover lots of different topics, from updates before games to celebrating goals as they happen, and reviewing games afterwards. The most important thing is to post your videos when they'll get the most attention and make sure everything you say is factually correct, otherwise people will just think you post nonsense for views. And here's a great tip. Follow the official social media pages of teams, players, and sports experts to get the newest news right from the source. That way you'll always know what's going on and be able to share it with your followers. Great, now that we've covered the basics, let me show you how incredibly easy it is to create these videos using AI in a step-by-step -step tutorial. First, head over to Google Gemini at gemini.google.com. This is basically Google's free version of ChatGPT, giving you access to all the latest information. In the search box, type in something like latest Ronaldo news with Al Nasser. You'll see it provides a lot of information, including on-field statistics and off-field news. If you click on any of these sentences, you can see where Gemini got this information from. And keep in mind, this information is updated today, so it's all current. Now, you'll need to go to a platform called Eleven Labs and create a free account. Eleven Labs is a top-notch AI voice generator that lets you quickly turn any text into a voiceover in less than two minutes. So, go back to Gemini, copy all the bullet points about on-field statistics, then paste them into the white box in the Eleven Labs platform. Choose a voice from the selection of hundreds available, and click Generate. 
Just a reminder, Eleven Lab's free plan gives you 10,000 characters per month to generate, and if you upgrade to a paid plan for a few bucks a month, you'll get 30,000 characters included. Now, let's take a listen to what Eleven Labs has generated for us. Top scorer, but trophyless season. Although Ronaldo is currently Al Nasser's top scorer in the Saudi Pro League with 12 goals. Perfect! To download it, click on this button over here. Now, let's generate the visuals using Leonardo AI, which offers a free plan you can use. I'll head back to Gemini and ask it to give me prompts for designing images using an AI image generator to complement a video discussing this topic about Cristiano Ronaldo and Al Nasser. I'll also provide a description of the paragraphs I generated earlier. You'll notice it provides several useful prompts. First, I'll go to Leonardo, choose the 9x6 aspect ratio for TikTok, select the Dream Shaper model, and paste the prompt. I'll download this image from there. Then, I'll repeat the process for other prompts to gather 5 or 6 different images. Once that's done, we can move on to the next step. For creating the actual video, I prefer to use CapCut, which is a free and beginner-friendly video editing software. Just head over to their website, create a free account, and log in. Here's what the dashboard looks like. Click on Create a New Video, choose the 9x6 aspect ratio, and add all your images and voiceover. Make sure to remove any silent parts from the voiceover as TikTok content needs to be fast-paced. I recommend using keyframes in your videos to make the images appear animated even if they're not. This will improve viewer retention and help you get more clicks and views. To do this, click on your image on the screen, then find the basic button in the top right corner. In the position section below, next to the X and Y coordinates, you'll see a button labeled Add Keyframe. Click on it and move the pin on your timeline one second ahead. Then, adjust your image slightly to automatically add the keyframe. Move the seek bar one second ahead once more and reverse the position of the image. This will create a left to right motion effect, adding some cool dynamic movement to your image. After completing these steps, it's time to make your video pop with transitions and effects. To do this, just click on the animation button located on the right hand side to add in and out transitions between your video clips. For extra effects, you can find them in the sidebar on the left. The zoom lens and edge glow effects to be quite popular nowadays, so you can go for those or whatever else seems to be trending. Now let's watch the video with these added transitions and effects. Top scorer, but trophyless season. Although Ronaldo is currently Al Nasser's top scorer in the Saudi Pro League with 12 goals, that's how simple it is to create football videos on TikTok without showing your face. Now all you have to do is churn out as many videos as possible and keep uploading them to grow your page and become eligible for monetization. Don't forget, you can also share the same video as a YouTube short and Instagram reel and also reach out for brand deals and sponsorships to monetize your content across all these platforms. I hope that you found this video tutorial helpful and that you can use this to make at least a decent income from TikTok. If so, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe for more videos like this.